The Occupy Wall Street protests in New York have continued over the weekend and they're now entering their fourth week. The protest appears to be gathering momentum and it's still attracting thousands of people every day, chanting slogans and voicing their anger at the current economic malaise gripping the United States. US correspondent Michael Brissenden reports. That's right, friends. Wall Street under occupation. Wall Street under siege. Yes, sir. This is the morning of the Occupy Wall Street protests, and as you can see, people are taking the word Occupy quite literally. There are hundreds of people here sleeping overnight in Zuccotti Park, which actually isn't Wall Street, a couple of blocks away from Wall Street, but about as close as you can get to camping out in the heart of America's financial district. People here say these protests are going to go on for some time. Uh, it's the start, they say, of a much bigger, wider movement. And as we've seen, the protests have grown over the past couple of weeks and continue to do so. What starts out like this pretty small in the morning, by the afternoon uh, of every day, is a much broader, bigger crowd, and it is attracting quite a cross-section of America. I think this is the beginning of a great movement. I think a large elephant is waking up slowly, and uh, people have had about enough. And why is it that people have had enough in America now? Our Congress is frozen, nothing happens, the government seems not to be able to get anything done. Uh, the president doesn't seem to be able to get anything done. The Congress is is, uh, is ruling that corporations are people, for heaven's sake. Uh, it seems all ridiculous. Uh, nobody can get any help. Our older people are looking at the cuts in Social Security and Medicare, while the richest people in the world have tax breaks. This is not justice. This is not mercy. It's not compassion. But we're subject to this corporate madness that everything is about somebody's bonus and not our lives, our education. I think with the uh, credit crisis and people losing their jobs, foreclosures, not having school education, all those things just keep piling on top of each other. And then some, there's like a breaking point or a tipping point where Americans are just like enough is enough. And if this protest movement does continue to gather strength, as it appears to be doing, it's going to present quite a number of challenges to the nation's politicians. President Obama has already said that he understands the frustrations of the people who are here, and clearly those frustrations are now spilling out onto the streets. It's a matter of conjecture, I guess, how far this is going to go, but already we are seeing these protests break out in other American cities too. We're seeing Occupy Chicago, Occupy Washington, D.C. So the people here are pretty determined to take this protest as far as they can.